Hello guys, today we are going to learn how to design our structure and interpret the results. Before hitting the design button, we all see if we have added FCK for concrete, F5 for steel and the different size of rebars that we want to use while detailing our structure. The property that we are most interested in is the yield strength of rebar. To edit, click on modify show material property design data button, such a long name for a single button. You might be again confused between what these FY, FU, FYE, FUE is. Let's understand them through a diagram. This is a stress strain diagram for steel. In it you can see the yield strength is a point at which is 500 MPa and ultimate tensile strength is around 610 MPa. Now the last thing that we have to change is the different size rebar that we all use on field. As you can see the ETAPs have added all possible rebars to our list. But on field we use limited number of bars. So we all delete those which are not used on field from the list. To delete a bar from the list, click on left hand side arrow and press delete key on keyboard. Delete the rest as I do so. We all see which bar size to use in slabs, beams, columns more in detail in our detailing video. This is how we all tell ETABs that these are the combinations that we need to be considered while designing the structure. As you can see yellow lines move from beam to beams then to column. Here ETABs is designing element one by one. As the design completes you may notice along the length of members some numbers appears. These numbers are the reinforcements required by that particular member. It's always better to judge the reinforcement requirement by an structure in the terms of percentage steel required. As this shows us the clear picture and it becomes easy for an engineer to take decision by looking at percentage values. So to shift to percentage diagram, now the picture is much clear. Please note here that SI code recommends that the minimum reinforcement for column and beam should be 0.8% and 0.2% respectively. A good thing about ETAPs is that even if the re reinforcement required by a column comes out to be less than 0.8% like 0.6% even then it will report it as 0.8%. It takes recommendation from IS code seriously whereas in STAD it reports the column reinforcement even below 0.8% which can turn out to be quite dangerous on field. To see the overall summary of design click on summary button. From here it is quite clear that the combination which produced maximum reinforcement is 1.5 times dead load plus earthquake in positive x. Coming down you can see this is section property showing that this column size is 300 by 300 mm below which is the material from which this column is made and its properties. FCK is 20 MPa and FY is 500 MPa. This is what we entered before designing the structure. The safety factor for concrete is taken 1.5 and for steel rebars is taken as 1.15 as per the IS code 456-2000. Now the PU, MU2 and MU3 are important as these parameters majorly decides the column reinforcement. To check if any beam or column has failed under load, we will go to design menu. It should always say all concrete frame pass the design check. If not, identify the failing beams or columns and increase their size. Please note here that if column reinforcement are coming more than 2 to 2.5 percent, then our design is not going to be on the economical side. Always remember that steel is by far the most expensive material from all materials that you use to construct the structure. So to try all possible ways to keep the percentage of steel requirement low without compromising on the safety of people that all live in it. As you can see our ground story column are experiencing high earthquake and wind loads which resulted in high reinforcement requirement of 3 to 4.5 percent which will be quite uneconomical to construct on field. To reduce the reinforcement requirement of a concrete section always try to as you can see the reinforcement requirement for ground story column has reduced to 2.5 percent from 4.4 percent. 2.5 percent steel for a single story is quite bearable. The upper and base story columns reinforcement requirements have reduced to minimum 
that is 0.8 percent. Even the steel requirement in beams has reduced to some extent. We have converted our uneconomical design more towards an economical, practical, ready to construct design. Remember that on real field clients will always prefer those civil engineers that can produce economical design for their structure.